Hey, I'm Emily, and I'm going to show you how to create an A-B test in MailChimp where you can test different subject lines at the same time. Um, it, MailChimp allows you to A-B test two subject lines or even three different subject lines, and you can decide how many people you want to send the two to test. And um, it's pretty fascinating what you can find out when you start A-B testing your subject lines. So when you log in, over on the left, uh, you need to press Create. You cannot replicate a regular campaign and then try to set up an A-B test. It has to kind of be started as an A-B test. So you're gonna click Create. From there, you're gonna see the drop down for email, and then you'll see the third one down is A-B test. Super easy. From there, you're just gonna give it a name, Emily's newsletter. Okay, and then you'll click Begin. And you'll choose your audience. Let's just say this is my audience. Um, ideally, with A/B tests, you're testing with a you're, you're testing with a large audience. Um, it doesn't make sense to A/B test things if you have 100, 200 people on your list. You really want like 5,000 people in order to get a really accurate A/B test. So from here, it's asking you, okay, what do you want to A/B test? There are four different options in Mailchimp you can do: send time, content, subject line. I like subject line for this, so we're going to click that and you can test up to three subject lines. I recommend keeping your test simple, so I always just start with two and go from there. So here is an interesting part of setting this up. So it says, what percentage of your recipients should receive the test combinations? Um, if you do 100%, that means it's gonna take your whole audience and it's gonna split it in half. Half will receive one subject line, half will receive the other. Now, what a lot of people do is they'll test with a smaller portion. So say 50% of your audience. And then after four hours, they're going to say, okay, this subject line won the test. And then whichever one won, they're going to send to the remaining 50% of your audience. So that's a really cool idea if you have the time to wait the four hours. Um, I typically do 100%. We just, we just split it in half, right? And then you'll click next. And then you set up your email like normal. And here you'll see the two subject line um, you'll see the two subject line op options. So you might want to do, you know, one with an emoji and one without and see which does better. Or you could do like this and you can see which one has gets more opens uh, like that. What I recommend is that you do this quite a few times before you really make a, a, a decision or a call on which one works. Um, you'll get only one preview text line for both of them. Uh, you know, make it something fun, not this. And then of course your, your normal setup as usual, Emily Ryan, there we go. And you'll click next. And then, oops, it's saying to check my entry. Okay. It's telling me to verify my domain. This is an old email. That's why we're going to skip that. And then you just set up your email like normal. So we're just going to apply an old template. Let's just apply this and then confirm before sending. We'll confirm. Okay, so it's saying here we have our two subject lines. Um, it is telling me there's some other things I need to, need to deal with. But that is essentially how you set up an A-B test in MailChimp. Again, I think the most important thing to know is that in the top left, you have to hit the Create button. Uh, you have to hit create to start your A-B test, then email, then A-B test. And then the world is your oyster for A-B testing. So um, please like this, subscribe if you want more like this. I have lots of MailChimp videos and tips um, and I appreciate it.